Hey, Ian Sayers from the Association of Investment Companies. You're speaking at our VCT Masterclass today. Thank you very much for that. Um, first things first, just a really simple question. Why should advisors be considering VCTs? Well, I think um, VCTs have a number of uh, attractions for, for clients. Um, I mean, firstly, let's talk about performance because that's the, the thing that clients I think are most interested in. Um, there's been quite a strong performance period um, for the last five or six years. Over 10 years, for example, we've returned about 80% uh, in total return terms, which is pretty good. But of course, on top of that as well, you're also getting the benefits of the tax relief. So you're getting a 30% upfront tax relief if you invest in uh, new shares. I think the other area that people are beginning uh, to look at actually is in, the, in terms of the dividend yield. Um, dividend yield at the moment is 8.2%. So that, that's a pretty high uh, yield in a sort of time of low interest rates and that kind of thing, I think that's quite a, an attractive proposition. Yeah, that's pretty compelling. And overall, can, can we say that the scheme has been a success for the UK in terms of its, its contribution to the wider economy? Well, absolutely. I mean, that's why I mean, the government does give some pretty generous tax reliefs. I think it works out about £130 million a year that they're giving, and they're only going to do that if they see that helping to support small businesses. It's one of the things that we've done this year. We did a little campaign called Bringing VCT Investment to Life, and what we did was we looked at some real case studies of companies in the UK. There's a video on our website, it's just five minutes long, you can, you can log into there, and it's amazing the range of companies that um, VCT support. I mean, in the video, we have a pub, a fertility clinic, um, an online holiday company, incredibly wide range. If you look beyond that and see what they've done, they've obviously expanded, they've grown, they're employing more people. Um, we do an annual survey and it really demonstrates that for every pound that the government puts in, we often call the government the biggest investor in the sector, um, they really do get paid back many times over. So it's a win-win really? It's a win-win for everybody. The investors are doing well and the government seeing the kind of um, boost to the UK economy that they want to see. Okay, and, and one last question. We've seen the, the lifetime limit for pensions come down, the annual limit for saving in pensions come down. Um, there's rumours that we might see changes to the, the higher rate of tax relief. Um, are we seeing advisors using VCTs um, more and increasingly as the, the, we see these changes in the pensions? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 that's certainly the case. I mean, you know, we always emphasise you don't buy VCTs just for the tax release, but there's no doubt that for sort of higher net worth individuals, as they are more restricted in terms of what they can put into their pensions, and further restrictions, as you say, possibly on their way, they are looking for other forms of tax-efficient investment. We've got the history of fundraising since the scheme started in 1996, and if you look at it, with the exception of a few couple of boost years when the um, rate of relief was put up to to 40% just for two years. The fundraising we've seen in the last three or four years has been some of the strongest we've ever seen. So there is definitely increased demand. Okay, Ian, thank you very much. Thank and um, we'll look forward to hearing your presentation a little later this morning. Thank you. Thank you.